What's up everyone, it's Tejo here and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. Now, in one of my another tutorial, I have shown you how to install Kali Linux alongside Windows 7, that is to dual boot Windows 7 and Kali Linux from the same hard disk. And in this video, I'll be teaching you how to install Kali Linux on a virtual box now if you want to switch between two operating systems simultaneously and if you want to test an operating system then you can actually install it in a virtual box uh, to test it or to you know to see how it feels like like you can do stuff like that uh, if you install the any operating system on a virtual box so if you are uh, urging to learn ethical hacking in car Linux then to install Kali Linux on a virtual box is perfect for you because this is easier and you can switch in between your primary operating system and your Kali Linux simultaneously anytime you want and yeah it's really very easy so the first off you got to have Oracle VM virtual box installed on your computer already so as you can see I have it installed already on my computer so if you don't have it yet you can download it from the internet I will leave a link in the description to download this from the official website so you can just check the description for the link and the second step is to go to kali.org slash downloads from where you can download the Kali Linux ISO image file uh, so you will see uh, these options like this you can download the 64 bit or the 32 bit uh, it depends on your system so you have two options one to download it directly and the other to download it using uh, a torrent so you can do it the either way whichever you want so uh, if you want to download it using torrents then obviously you got to have a torrent client installed on your computer now I have this ISO image file already on my computer so I'm not going to download it now and so once you download both the Oracle VM virtual box and the Kali Linux ISO image file you are ready and then you got to do one more thing you got to go to your BIOS menu actually you just turn on your computer and you hit on the escape key or the F10 key it depends on your computer so in this case it says F10 for BIOS setup in my case so I'm gonna hit the F10 key on my keyboard and then you will see a BIOS screen like this now in this screen you got to move to the system configuration tab you know it may be different for in your case so rem remember that so once you go in there you got to search for an option which says virtualizing technology and you got to make sure that it is enabled so if it is disabled in your case then you can just uh, enable it by hitting enter and then you can change the value from disabled to enabled so once you do that once you make sure that it, it is enabled you just go save the changes and exit the changes so that's all so open the Oracle VM virtual box and here is how it looks like uh, you gotta click on the new button over here and then you gotta name this thing as Kali Linux uh, but in my case I'm gonna name it as Kali Linux 1 because you know I have already created a virtual box with the name Kali Linux so to prevent any error I'm, I'm just using the 1 at the end so anyway you can just give Kali Linux and uh, as soon as you type in Kali Linux there you will see the type changes to Linux and the version changes to uh, the suitable one and uh, so you, you need not make any changes with the next two options so just type in Kali Linux there and click on next and over here you uh, in this window you got to give the amount of RAM you you, you wanna allocate to Kali Linux I recommend giving you at least 1 GB of RAM to your virtual machine in my case I'll be giving 2 GB of RAM so uh, you can give it however you want like uh, I recommend giving at least 1 GB of RAM so that it runs faster uh, well once you give in the uh, amount of RAM you can just click on the next button and you gotta select create a virtual hard disk nav and click on create now here you got to select VDI virtual box disk image and click on next and you can just leave it as dynamically allocated and click on next now in this uh, in this thing you got to give the amount of space you want to allocate to Kali Linux 
so I recommend you giving at least 25 GB of like 25 GB or more space to Kali Linux so that you will be able to use Kali Linux uh, easily easy peasy like you can download files from Kali Linux like uh, like you know Kali Linux as you know has uh, many pre-installed tools in it so better give it uh, at least 25 GB of space so once you give in the space amount of space uh, just click on the create button and as you could see here is uh, a new virtual box like this and uh, you got to select that and click on the settings but uh, settings button over here and you'll see a settings option up here on your window on your screen like this now you got to go into system and you got to go to the processor tab and you got to select this option which says enable PAE slash NX so this one is uh, important you got to select this and once you do that you can just click on OK and the setting get, gets saved and the next thing you got to do is select the virtual box and click on the start button and uh, and then you will see a window like this now you got to you know you got to press this icon over here and uh, it will open a dialog box and you got to select you got to locate the downloaded Kali Linux ISO image file so here is my ISO image file so you, you just locate it you just select the Kali Linux ISO image file and click on the start button so here we go this is the uh, installation menu of Kali Linux let me switch to the full screen mode and here we go so in this list you got to go down and select graphical install um okay scroll down and click on graphical install and then you'll see something like this just don't mind these things and the next screen you'll see like uh, this you got to select your language in my case i'll be selecting english and uh, click on continue and then you got to select your country i'm going to select my country india and then click on continue so uh in this screen you got to select the uh, language like you got to select your language so that it configures the keyboard so I'm gonna select American English from this list so you select your language and click on continue and then it says detecting uh, some blah 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 so just be patient just wait And then it asks you to provide a host name so you can just type in your name here uh, I'll be leaving it as the default name that is Kali so you can just type in whatever you want whatever your uh, whatever you want the username uh, so just click on continue after that and you can just leave the domain name empty and click on continue and it asks you to choose a password so just enter your password So you gotta enter the password twice so that it ensures that you enter the correct password. So just click on continue once you enter your password. And then it will open up the partitioner. So you will see four options in this screen uh, you got to select the first option which says guided use entire disk so if you are a starter like if you don't have any idea about installing Kali Linux or you know if you're not a techie so I recommend you using the first option that is guided use entire disk so that Kali Linux does everything for you you need not do anything you just need to uh, select guided use entire disk and Kali Linux will take care of you so just click on continue and then just select the uh, option here that is the VBOX hard disk and click on continue and you gotta select all files in one partition and click on continue
and in this screen you gotta select finish partitioning and write changes to disk so just click on continue and you gotta select yes here and once again click on the continue button and here this is the part where you got to be patient this is the part which is going to take a lot of time um, this process is actually installing Kali Linux on your virtual disk so this takes a bit of time so you just gotta be patient you can just resume your work you can just minimize this uh, installation thing and you can just resume your work so just be patient and then you will see a screen like this now you can select no and click on continue and then you will see a screen like this which asks you whether you want to install the GRUB bootloader so actually this GRUB bootloader is the bootloader uh, through which you can run Kali Linux so you got to install this GRUB bootloader in order to boot Kali Linux on the virtual drive so you got to select yes and then click on continue and then you got to select the second option that is uh, the place where you install Kali Linux the place where you selected uh, before in the disk partitioner that is uh, let's say something like the hard disk underscore VB blah 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 so you got to select that uh, and click on continue now it says installing GRUB bootloader so you just got to be patient and wait for the installation to be done and here we go it says the installation complete and uh, yes you are almost done just click on the continue button and then it says finishing the installation so you're almost done installing Kali Linux on your virtual drive so now in the GRUB bootloader you will see two options one option is Kali GNU slash Linux and the second option is advanced options for Kali GNU slash Linux so you got to select the first option that is Kali GNU slash Linux so just highlight that thing and hit on enter and then your Kali Linux should start like this so this is the login screen of Kali Linux now you need to enter your username there so in my case I my username is root so just enter root there I mean the default username is root so if you don't know what username to enter there then just enter root because it's the default username and click on next now you got to enter the password you know uh, you have given a password before during the installation of Kali Linux so you got to give the same password you got to type in the same password here so I'll type the same password over here and then click on sign in and here we go this is the Kali Linux uh, desktop um, so you are now able to you know use Kali Linux on the virtual box you can uh, you can use any of the tools you can go to the applications tab and you have various tools for the penetration testing so you can make use of all you can make use of all of these I and mean, you can learn penetration testing uh, like this like you can easily switch between Kali Linux and uh, Windows 7 like this you know you can just minimize it and you can use Windows 10 and you can go back to Kali Linux like this so it's really very handy to use Kali Linux simultaneously on Windows 10 so that's all I wanted to teach you in this video if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to comment below I'll try to reply to every comment of, of yours hit the subscribe button for more videos like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techcoach156 Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash techcrosh156. Visit my website at techcrosh156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.